All right, so this uh, is a readiness activity. It's called, um, do you want to see a miracle? Um, it's a pretty easy one to do. The reason why you would do this one again, and this is readiness. This is a quick little activity at the beginning that's going to get the students ready um, to dive, dive into the scriptures. Sometimes teachers might do, like, might shift gears halfway through a lesson and do another readiness activity and then jump back into the scriptures. But readiness is, again, just kind of outside of the scriptures, do a little activity to get them kind of mind thinking, get it ready to learn. That's why it's called readiness, ready to learn, and then jump in there. And so this one I would have on the board something written like, do you want to see a miracle? And then I would ask the students as they, you know, as they come in, they've sat down, we've had our devotional. I'm like, hey, guys, do you want to see a miracle today? Um, I happen to know how to perform a few miracles. Okay, now this is just my personality, how I do it. But I'll ask them, so you want to see a miracle? And, and uh, who's not going to say yes to that? Okay, and so I'll call on a student. And uh, let me just pause. The reason why I'm showing you how to do these ones are these are easy tricks to do. You don't really have to practice. You just have to know the, the mechanics, and then it's, it's easy to do. And so here's two little tricks for having, you know, do you want to see a miracle? And so I would have a student um, come to the board, and I say, I'm, I'm not going to look at the board, but I want you to write a number between 1 and 60. It can't be decimals or fractions, just, you know, no funny business, just a, a regular number between 1 and 60. Computer. Give me a random number between 1 and 60. Here's a number between 1 and 60. It's 47. Okay, we're going to use 47 for our activity, okay? And then you've got these six cards. Here's something I found on the web. She thinks I still want to talk to her, okay? So you're going to show Thanks them... Thanks for letting me know. You're going to show them cards. And there's nothing written on these the cards. The hangman, the hermit, five of coins, four-color deck, five of diamonds and others. Computer, cancel. Well, that was annoying. Okay, so um, so here's how, how you do it. So the number's 47, um, and you've got just these cards that have numbers on them. There's nothing on the backs. You can show them the backs. They can look at the cards. It's just paper with numbers on it, okay? And you're going to hold up the card, and if you just need to to tell them, if you see your number, just tell me yes. So they're going to hold that one up. They see the 47, so you put it down. You hold this one up. Uh, they see a 47, so you put it down. You hold this one up. There's no 47 on that one, so they say no. You put it down, right? You hold this one up. There's a 47 there. They say yes. You put it down. You put this one up. They say yes. It's, you put it down. You put this one up. They say yes. You put it down. You go, your number's 47. So, and they're getting, what, how'd you know? And you're like, let's do it again. So you can ask them again, but let me show you, and you can do another number. You can have two students, you know, do two numbers and then do one and then the other. But here's how you do the trick. Again, you can't, there's nothing written on it and you're not memorizing numbers. That's, that's, that's crazy. Um, all you have to do is you have to add this number if they say yes. So you show them this one. Notice the number's 47. You don't know that, though, but they, they see it right there. And so they say yes. And so you're looking through the card because you can look through it. And you see the number right there is 32. So you start doing math. Okay, so 32. Okay, uh, it's there. So 32 plus 8 is 40. So now I know that the number is 40. Um, you hold it there. It's not on. Okay, so I'm still at 40. It's on there, so now I'm at 41, because again, it's just that number. It's on there, so I'm at, now I'm at 45, because before I was at 41 plus 4, 47. So I was at 45 plus 2, 47. Okay, it works every time. I don't know why. Computer, give me another random number between 1 and 60. Here's a number between 1 and 60. It's 31. Thank you. Okay. Let's do 31. Okay, so you do the same. You're very, very, oh, so very welcome. She drives me nuts. Drives me nuts. All right. So what'd she say? 31? Okay. So you're going to show them this one? It's not on there. Okay, so you just put it down. You don't really have to do much. 31 is on that one. So they say yes. Again, there's eight. So you're doing math in your mind. Eight. 31 not on that one so you're oh it is on that one so let's see you're at 16 plus 8 24 24 okay 
Uh, it's on that one. So there's the one, 25. It's on that one, 26, 27, 28, 29. It's on that one, 30, 31. The number's 31. I don't know how it works, okay? But kids were like, wow. And then you can have fun. You're like, now, guys, do you want to see another miracle? And they'll be like, yeah, let's see another miracle. So you have them come up to where they can see. This is just um, cards, just a, a little card trick. Um, you can use regular cards. If you don't want to use face cards for some reason, um, you can use any card as long as they're different. You can't have like Uno cards that have two of the same cards, okay? And so you're going to put down three rows of seven cards. Four, 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 five, 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 six, six, six. Seven, seven, seven. I'm going to take out these jokers. There we go. Okay. So um, you're going to have all the students around so they can see this trick. You're going to say, I want you to pick a card. Don't tell me what card it is in. I'm going to replace this one too just because it's marked. There we go. Um, you're going to say, pick a card. I don't care what card it is, but tell me what row it's in. I'm going to turn around so you can show everybody else what card you want. Um, so let's say we're going to work with this Jack right here, the, the uh, Jack, the hearts, Jack of hearts. Why does that sound so weird? Anyway, the Jack right there. Um, so you turn back around, they've showed everyone what card it is, and they're just going to say it's in this middle row right here. So you're going to collapse all the cards, and then whichever one they said it is goes in between the other two. And then you do it again. You always want to go across. And it's got to be the top card. Okay, and then you say, find your same card. Tell me what row it's in. You can see it's in this row. So you collapse them all. Again, this one needs to be in the middle. And then you do it one last time. Three across. Now, I don't know why, but here's the mathematical part of it. It's going to be the fourth card down in one of these rows. See? Okay, you need to say again, find your card, tell me what row it's in. They're going to say it's in this row. Now, you already know it's the Jack of Hearts. Um, but you could say it's the Jack, but that's not fun. Uh, put it in the middle. Okay, now it was a fourth card down. You've got seven cards on top of that row. And so you now know that your card, their card, is the 11th card. You also know that it's the jack. So this next part is just to wow them. So you count 11 cards. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I know that's the card. It's the 11th card down. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, you don't have to count all the other ones. Now, you're going to do a little thing where they pick piles and you eliminate them. But here's the trick. You know this is their card. So whatever they pick, you're going to make sure this is the last card on the table. So you're going to say something like, all right, uh, John, pick two piles. If he picks these two, because you want to make sure this card is left on the table, you're going to get rid of these three. If he picks these two, you're going because you want that one to be on there, you're going to get rid of the two. So it doesn't matter if the, what, what piles the students pick. You're just going to take and leave piles and, and make sure that this is the last card down there. So if I say pick two and they pick these two because you want this one left, you're going to get rid of that one. Okay, So they pick the ones that you got rid of. You say pick two more. If they pick these two, again, you want this to stay, and so you'll get rid of this one. So they pick the ones that stayed that time. Pick another pile. They say pick this one. All right, let's get rid of that one. Now you know, again, it's this card, so you kind of arrange it out for them and you say pick two cards if they pick these two you get rid of them because you want that one left pick a card if they say pick this one get rid of it if they say pick this one keep your hand on it however you want to do it but let's say they pick this card you get rid of it and then you go really the jack of hearts okay everybody's like whoa you're magical and you're like hey do you want to see a better miracle i have a better miracle than that one right there now who's not going to say no to that Right? They're like, yeah, yeah. And say, all right, this miracle is in Genesis 18, verse 4. Let's go there real fast and see the miracle. Now, honestly, at this point, you're going to get some students go, oh, 
all right? And you'll have somebody be like, oh, you tricked us. And you could be like, yes, I did. Those were simple tricks. But in Genesis, it's a legit miracle. What's the difference between a trick and a miracle? I mean, that's a, a great conversation as they're turning now to Genesis. Um, you'll get students be like, oh, and maybe they don't say you tricked us. We're like, guys, these were simple tricks. This was easy. But what we're seeing today is really a miracle. And that's, that's in Genesis. And so it's a great way. It's a fast way to get them right into the, the scriptures. The great thing about it is, again, you don't have to really practice um, I'll put these on the, the um, you'll, you'll see a place where you can download those and then just print them out. Um, the card trick is super easy. Remember, it's just three across, seven down. You do it three times and then it's the 11th card. Um, but have fun with this. It's a fun little readiness activity. Um, and again, it's, it's one that you don't have to really practice and be really good at with, with your hands. It's, it's just an easy one to do. But I hope it works. I hope it blesses your students' lives as it gets them ready to learn in the scriptures.